Hey YouTube, so today I'm going to do the review on the M. Michelle Fan um, Mascara. I got it in my Ipsy bag, so I thought, hey, why not do a review? So this is the packaging. Oh, well, this is the packaging. This is the Clean Volume Mascara, Mascara Volume, and Definition. And this is how it looks. So I already did my makeup. And this is the wand. So I'm going to go ahead and just apply it on my lashes. Get you guys as close as I could. So that's the closest, I believe. Okay. So I'm just going to apply the mascara. It's going on pretty nice. Um, It looks like it clumps very easily, though. Oops. And I'm going to apply a lot, like I usually do. So, <sighs> there you go. I don't know if you guys can even tell. But, um, it's on there, so. So, um, to me, it feels like it's really wet. Like, every time I blink, I get it on my, um, eyelids or on my bottom lashes. Um, so you can see it up here a bit. Uh, I don't feel too happy with it. It reminds me of, um, the e.l.f. mascara that I have. And I really don't even like the e.l.f. mascara. It's just... It was just, uh, it's just cheap, um, it feels like it's cheap. Um, I don't like wet formulas. I love, like, you know, when you put it on and it dries quick, I love those formulas. Um, this I'm not too excited about. I was really excited when I got it because it's, you know, Michelle Fan, and you're like, oh my god, her stuff is going to be great. But when I tried it, it really isn't all that great. I would have to probably pair it with another mascara just to, you know, um, give it that dry, like, to make them dry to get them dry I don't know if that makes sense but um, I hate dry formulas and this it feels like it took a while to build it and build it and um, yeah and and I don't know I, I don't like it so far I'll keep trying maybe if it dries up a little bit I can apply more just like how I am now um, maybe it'll work uh, see like how it's given a little bit of volume now since I waited so let's see Um, sorta. I don't think it's worth the $20 that it says on the website. I'm glad I got to try it out for free. Well, not for free, but in my Ipsy bag. Um, so that's pretty good. But, um, I feel like there's so many other mascaras out there that are cheap and less expensive than the Michelle Fan. Michelle Fan. And it's, you know, it gives you more oomph more volume, pretty, this I feel like I have to wait and wait and wait and then apply another coat and then wait a couple of minutes and then apply another coat, but, um, I'm not done with the review, I'll see how it goes, um, throughout the day, I'll let you know if it flakes off or anything, so, yeah, stay tuned. So, so far on the mascara, I'm not too excited, if you guys can see, like, underneath, uh, where, like, if I blink or something, or it's still not completely dry, and it's, like, it's already been two hours and it's like not completely completely dry um, I could pick at it and like um, take off the flakiness and stuff but it's still like wet but it's gotten underneath my eye and every time like, I look up or something it gets on my um my um, eyeshadow so that's a bummer so so far like I really don't like it um, um, what I think is a good alternative for it Something that's better and cheaper would be the Falsies or the Rimlin um, mascara that I use. I can't find it right now. But I just feel like it's such a huge disappointment because, um, you know, like you think, oh my gosh, it's going to be so good because like it's a lot of money. But it really isn't. Like I'm really disappointed. Um, but yeah, I'll just keep you guys updated. It's just mascara, so it's not like foundation where it's like a whole day. But I think I'll just go another couple of hours and... Um, let's see what happens. Um, 
Latinas or Mexicans say, a ver qué pasa. So hopefully, you know, it starts to dry and I can add another coat and let's see how that goes. So stay tuned. Hey subbies. So it's the end of the night. I already removed some of my makeup with um, wipes that I have and just took some off the top lid. Um, but you can kind of see already where like I barely went over with the wipe where um, I still have some mascara. It kind of sucks. Uh, it's really flaky. Let's see if I can get you guys closer. Let me see. Okay. Do you guys see how horrible it is? It's like really bad. Like you can't really rub underneath your eyes or you know if you have like a little itch or something on your eyelash. You can't do any of that because with this mascara it's just I don't know. It doesn't hold up well. Not really impressed. Kind of disappointed, um, but I'm glad I got to try it out. Um, it's I wouldn't go out and buy it. It's not something that was like wow to me. It was just to me kind of like I don't know, like a huge bummer. Um, it wasn't how I felt when I tried the falsies where you put it on. And you're like wow, I never get any of this. And that I got with the um, Michelle Fonz, um mascara. But that's okay. I'm glad I tried it out. Um, let me know if it worked for you. If you guys did something different. Maybe if I pair the falsies and the um, and Michelle, the Michelle Font and Michelle, the Michelle Fonz um, mascara. Maybe if I mix those two, it'll come out very, very pretty. I don't know. I'll let you guys know. But yeah, um, thanks for watching my review and have a good day.